I am doing pretty well. Thanks, I'm thanks for, yeah. Thanks, thanks for accepting my invitation and accepting to talk with me. Well, that's that's an honor. Uh, thanks for the invitation. So I thought to introduce you to my audience. Okay. So can you please introduce yourself to my audience? Uh, yes, uh, my name is Beam Weeks. I am an author, a writer. I write, I've written one novel, uh, two short story collections, and a novella. I'm currently working on another novel, actually two novels, and several more short stories that I hope to have coming out this coming year. I live in Michigan, United States. Uh, I am 53 years old, and I've been writing pretty much my whole life. Uh, before talking about that, can you put uh, your camera a little uh, downwards so that uh, you will be on cam uh, completely on camera so that people can see you? How's that? Yeah, yeah this is good. Okay. Um, yeah. Are you getting the, the light back here? Yeah, the light is uh, there. Yeah. Hold on, I can take care of that. Yeah. I usually do my Skyping at night with my with my publisher, uh, uh, so that's usually dark out there. Okay, uh, the light is uh, 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 the light is on your face. Is that okay for you? It's uh, uh, yeah. yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we don't want to do that. All right, uh, it's yeah. closed, so I can't do anything more about that. But now it's good. Now it's good. Okay. Yeah, so you're 50 plus and uh, you're an author and uh, you write, you wrote uh, novels, two novels and uh, you write short stories. Uh, yes, and uh, one of my novels, in fact, I've got my books right here. This is my novel, Jazz Baby. That came out nine years ago. Um, it's okay. a historical, historical fiction. Okay. This is my first short story collection. It's called Slivers of Life. And uh, that's got 20 short stories in it. And here's my second short story collection called Strange Highway. And that's got 19 short stories in it. And my, my novella, uh, it's called The Thing About Kevin. And that came out last year or earlier this year. Uh, that's available on ebook. Okay. Uh, what is the first book is about the the jazz baby? Jazz baby. That is a historical fiction. It's set in 1925 in New Orleans and Mississippi here in the United States. It's uh, a young girl who loses both her mother and father at an early age, and she wants to be a singer. So she goes to New Orleans to sing. And she runs into all kinds of trouble, dangerous characters, and uh, she wants to make it to New York eventually. And uh, she has to uh, rely on her wits to stay ahead of, you know, the, the dangerous characters that are there. She gets harmed, but uh, in the end, she pulls through. So nine years back, uh, uh, it came out. Yeah, it came out in 2012. And so uh, it'll be was... nine years this year, this coming year. Okay, so what is the response that you got? Uh, really strong. Um, it's got a lot of reviews on Amazon, and most of them are f uh, five and four star reviews. Uh, there were a couple, a uh, couple that didn't like it, which that's fine. That's acceptable. That's that's going to happen. But uh, ninety five percent of them were all positive reviews. Uh, so you know, I, I I can't complain. Even when I, you get the occasional bad review, that's that comes with the it comes with writing. Not everybody's going to like what you write. And I accept that. So are you a full-time writer? Yes, I am. Uh, I also work for my publisher, uh, Fresh Ink Group. I, I do uh, book trailers. I put together book trailers, do a lot of video, and I'm, we're currently doing audio book production as well. So I'm, pro I'm an audio book and video producer for them, and I do some, uh, some other stuff. So between uh, working for the, the publisher and writing, that's my full-time job. So your second book is about the short stories? 
the short stories, there's a whole bunch of different, different topics, different short stories. Um, there's, uh, some historical fiction in there, but there's modern stuff. There's, uh, um, kind of science fiction in there. There's paranormal, uh, just whatever strikes my fancy, I'll write it. <laughs> and they end up in those books. And the third one? Uh, same thing. A collection of short stories. Um, that's all different kinds of stories. The thing about Kevin, that's my my novella. That's uh, about a, a young man whose father dies. And he, he's living in New York and he has to fly back to Chicago to bury his father. And he finds some family secrets. His father was... Uh, in the mafia, basically. And uh, he had an older brother named Kevin who had disappeared 38 years prior to that. And he finds, he's looking for what happened to his brother. He thought, well, now that the father died, maybe the brother's going to come to the funeral. And he doesn't. And then he finds uh, the reason why the brother can't come to the funeral at the end of the book. He, he finally figures it out. So what made you to become a writer? It's just something I did all my life. When I was a kid, uh, back in school, probably eight or nine years old, uh, we had a teacher that had us write some short stories. And by the time I was in fifth grade, uh, I had co-written a play at school that we got the actors to act it out in, in front of the whole school. And I was just hooked. It was like, okay, this is, this is cool. You can take ideas and write them down and turn them into stories and people will actually read them and like them. <laughs> so early on, uh, that's what got me hooked. Now, when I was in high school, I started doing um, music reviews, concerts that I would go to, I would review them for the school newspaper and uh, record reviews when bands and singers would have new music out, I would review their, their music for them. And I got a lot of positive feedback. Everybody always wanted to know what I was gonna do next. And uh, so it's always been with me writing. Uh, I didn't take it real seriously for the following, you know, 20 years after high school. And it was uh, about 20 years ago that I started to take it serious again and put together short stories that became my short story collections and started working on the novel. Do you remember the first response that you got for the first book that you published and uh, for the first time? I do. The first response that I got, Jazz Baby, I had released it and I think it was available maybe two months at that time. This is back in 2012. And my publisher got an email from a girl, a teenage girl in Ireland, and they forwarded it to me. And she was saying that she had bought the book and she started reading it and she was going to read one chapter a day and, you know, put it down. And she told me that she ended up starting in the afternoon. And by the time she finished in the evening at late at night, she was done with the book. So she read it in one sitting and she just had to let me know that she thought it was just a, a wonderful book. She wants to know if I'm going to do a sequel to it, which there's a sequel in the works, but that's later on down the work down the line because she wanted to know what happened to the character. Did she make it to New York? Um, but uh, yeah, that that email from this this teenage girl from Ireland and I'm in the United States. So for me, it was like, all right, somebody in Ireland read my book. Wow. <laughs> And uh, I've gotten more like that from around the world since then. And it, each one is, I, I, I cherish each one, each each review, each response, uh, even the neg negative ones, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. At least somebody took the time to read that. So historical fiction and uh, you wrote uh, uh, the fiction books, uh, fictional stories again. And uh, have you ever thought to write a real story? Uh, yeah, I have. Uh, kind of a, maybe a, a memoir type of thing, or I've written in each of those uh, short story collections, There, there's each of them have one essay, and that's true story. And it's from my childhood, things that my dad did. Uh, fun, funny stories, my dad was a good guy. He, uh, uh, so I, I, and I also thought about that, doing a whole collection of essays of personal life experiences. My publisher, he's, he's done that. Um, and he's encouraged me to do that. So that's something that I might do uh, coming up here in the future. But like I said, I've got two novels that I'm working on right now and probably four or five new short stories. Uh, once I get those out of the way, then maybe I'll sit down and write those essays, the essay collection. So what drives you? What motivates you to write? The need to. 
it's I, I on my mind is constantly working. It's constantly thinking of uh, of ideas for stories. I see stuff in life and think, yeah, that would make a good story, even though that's in real life. But put a little twist to it, and you can change a few things around, and and really. Uh, that's just the, my mind. It's always there's characters in there, um, like with Jazz Baby. I started writing that, and it was like this: the the main character, she became real almost because you, you're thinking, all right, how would she say this? What would she do here? If if she was in this situation, what would her reaction be? And that's how my mind works. I I just I love a good story, whether I write it or somebody else writes it, uh, whether it's a book or a movie or a short film. I just I I love a good story. So you will be getting uh, uh, different types of uh, responses for the uh, expressions of uh, 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 expressions of your through your book. So wh- how you take that? The different responses. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I mean, you're going to get the, most of my stuff. Most of my books have uh, positive reviews. Uh, 95 percent where they're five and four star reviews. Every so often you get one of those that where they somebody will give you a two or three star review and say, I didn't really care for this story or whatever. And, you know, like I said, that that's that's fine. They took the time to read it. That's that's and I appreciate that, even if they didn't like it. And as writers, any writer, no, Stephen King gets bad reviews from people who just don't like some of his stories. But he's he's a good writer. He's a really he's a great storyteller, but he's a good writer. And all all writers go go through that. Uh, where you're going to find every so often somebody doesn't like your story. I accept it. Uh, it's, you know, that, that's, part of the, that's part of the deal. <laughs> you're going to write and put it out there. Now, you don't want to get something that's brutal. I've never had a brutal review. I've seen some for other authors where, you know, somebody's telling them you're not good. You need to quit writing. That's not, you can't say that. Uh, eventually, if they're not meant to write, they'll eventually figure that out. And they'll find something that they can do. I've never, I've never had that. Usually, it's you know they liked the writing style, but they didn't care for the content, or they liked the story, but it didn't end the way they wanted it to end. I get that sometimes, uh, especially with Jazz Baby. People wanted it to end a certain way, and I didn't end it the way they wanted it. I ended it the way I wanted it, and I left it open for a sequel. So you know, I, I but yeah, think, yeah, yeah. The, the, with the, the responses, uh, I welcome all the responses. I mean, good, bad, somewhere in the middle. I, I'm good with it. Are you good in explaining uh, your imagination? Am I good in explaining my imagination? You mean, can I take this what I got in my head and put it on paper? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think so. That's one of the, the things that people in the reviews point out is that I have a, a really good way of fleshing out the characters and fleshing out the story of, of making it real. Uh, and uh, there's enough of, of these reviews where people talk about that, um, that, okay, I think I'm pretty good at it. Uh, you express to impress or you express because you want to express? I express because I want to express. I mean, I, I just, I, I, like I said, there's a need for me to write. If I have a story idea, and that's all it is, they're, they're story ideas. Uh, that this is kind of interesting. Let me write this down. And if I think it, if, as I start to write it, if I think it's pretty good, where you know other people might enjoy it, then I publish it. Or in the case of short stories, I I sit on them until I've got enough of them to put into a collection. What is your favorite story? My favorite uh, that I've written. Yeah. Oh, Jazz Baby. Easy. That's that was the, that was the first. That was the big one. And that's what most people online know me for, is Jazz Baby. Can I put this title, the title for this video as uh, Chatting with uh, Jazz Baby? Chatting, <laughs> chatting with Jazz Baby? <laughs> is that what you call this? <laughs> <laughs> because Jazz Baby is your imagination, that is you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, She's uh, she was just the character that popped into my head and yeah. then the story took You're off. You're the creator. You're the creator. I'm the creator. Yeah, but I think sometimes she, this 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 fictitious character, she was the creator because I mean she, you know, there were times where three o'clock in the morning I'm asleep and an idea would come to me and I'd have to wake up and I kept a notepad by my bed so I always wrote these things down so I wouldn't forget it and it just it was just one of those things uh, when I'm really into into the groove for writing the story 
that tends to happen. I, I'll wake up in the middle of the night with an idea, uh, not just with Jazz Baby, but with all my stories. Uh, have, have you have you thought that you will get uh, ninety five percent of the positive review for the uh, uh, for the expression of yours uh, while uh, waking up in the night and writing it? No, I do. As a matter of fact, when I first started writing Jazz Baby, I didn't have any intention of publishing it. I, I none. It was just I'm going to write this story. I was uh, taking a, a, a creative writing course just as a refresher because I had stopped writing for about fifteen twenty years. I had other things to do. I I uh, was working all the time, and then I got some time to where I would start writing again. And I took this this creative writing course, and I started uh, writing Jazz Baby and sharing it with what the guy that became my publisher. And uh, by the end of the book, the manuscript, he said, "This is good. We need to get you published." So it was his idea to publish it. And I thought, well, you know, there might be a couple of people that like it, but. You get you kind of wonder how people are going to react. You spend that time writing this and you put it out there for the world to read. And I mean, it could go either way. They could love it or they could hate it or they could fall somewhere in the middle and, you know, not care either way. But no, I never thought that, you know, I was going to get a lot of positive reviews. Uh, but there they are. <laughs> so what is your favorite genre? My favorite genre? Uh, probably historical fiction, uh, slice of life. I think that's more, that's just everyday living. Somebody has a story to tell. You've got a story to tell. Uh, the neighbor's got a story to tell. And it doesn't have to be where some superhero comes in and flies around and, you know, whatever. Or it doesn't have to be where it's a bunch of gangsters and things like that. But it could be. You never know. It could just be somebody who is living their life and they've got, something on their mind that nobody else knows about because they don't talk about it it's so that's that's slice of life that's probably my favorite a lot of my uh my short stories are slice of life they're just everyday everyday people living lives but there's something there's always a little twist in there i try to put a little twist in each of my stories uh, do you have anything uh, that uh, you didn't say and uh, you wanted to say badly in coming days uh, anything that I want to say um, through your I, book? Oh, through my book. Um, actually, no, I don't really put messages in my stories, um, but there's there's usually our messages, and it's basically, hey, how you treat other people, that's the way you're going to be treated. If you want respect, you have to show respect. Uh, if you if you want people to care about you, you have to care about other people. Um, th that's kind of a, a theme through many of my stories, uh, that that's what it's about. It's you got the good person and the bad person and, you know, the good person's trying to do what's right. And then you got the bad person and, you know, through the good person, maybe the bad person sees that, you know, maybe I need to change. There's, there's a lot of that in there, but I don't preach it. You know, it's not where I'm going to hammer somebody over the head with, Hey, be nice. It's, you know, it's. It's just there. Look, if you want somebody to, if you want people to, to like you and be nice to you, like them and be nice to them. That's how that works. What is working for you? What is working for me? Uh, in terms of what? Creating or? Everything. Everything. Uh, for me, my faith in God. That's, that's working for me, which right there is my foundation. And then after that, it's just writing, uh, especially with the writing, writing what I want. I don't, there's people that, case in point, with Jazz Baby, I received, uh, not a whole lot, but I received quite a few um, comments from people who were saying, well, you should have had it end like this. Even, even people that are close to me, you know, I would have ended it like this. Well, then it wouldn't have been my story. I ended it the way I would because that ending it just kind of cuts off where, all right, what happened to her? Did she make it to New York? That's what everybody wanted to know. And I did that on purpose because I have this idea for a sequel. But I write, what works for me is writing what's in my head, what's in my heart. Uh, I, I can't write based on somebody else's ideas because then it's not my story. And uh, I've had all kinds of people over the years saying, well, you should change this and write it like that. 
that's not how it's going to go, though. That's not how I see it. So what works for me is writing what's in my head, in my heart, writing what I want to write and not listening to you know readers or, or friends or other authors. And that so works for me. That's what my next question is. Uh, will you take uh, the positive responses that you get for the uh, for your books? Seriously? Oh, I take the pot. I take the positive and the re- and the and the negative responses. Uh, they're seriously, you know, seriously. Oh, I do seriously. I do uh, because they're that's somebody who's a reader. They took the time to read this, and what they have to say is important. Okay, this is how the book affected them. Now, as I said, I'm fortunate that 95 percent of my reviews, people have really enjoyed them. But you look at the ones where somebody was a little critical or a little negative, I'm going to listen to what they had to say. In fact, I even used that for uh, the stories that followed Jazz Baby. All right, well, people didn't care so much for that. And I kind of see on some of these things. So I tweak my writing style for the next uh, story and uh, go from there. So I have I've taken taken seriously the uh, even the critical uh, comments. It just, it's, so, that's how we grow as writers. That's how we grow as people. Will you change the way you are affecting uh, people uh, after listening to the positive responses? Will I change? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not going to change something, you know, change whatever. I mean, I, I might, I take into consideration certain things. And I've, like I said, I've made some tweaks here and there based on people's comments, but there's not a wholesale change, no. Yeah, so to, uh, so uh, at last, do you have anything to say about your books and about yourself and uh, any good words, uh, uh, anything to say to the world who watches this video from anywhere on this planet? Okay, well, here's what I have to say. Um, if you enjoy a, a well-written story, I think I accomplished that. Um, my, my work is available uh, uh, everywhere uh, online, uh, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Google Books. Kobo, all that stuff. Uh, most of them are in uh, hardcover, paperback, and ebooks, all ebook formats, uh, except for the thing about Kevin. That's just an ebook format. But uh, I, I try to tell a good, honest story when I write my stories, whether it's a short story, a novel, an essay. I try to tell something that's going to entertain the reader. I don't want to put something out there and hear that, well, your stories are terrible and you know nobody is entertained by them. I want to hear that that was a good entertaining story. So I try to write stories that are that are that way, that are going to pull people in and make people care about the characters. I think that's important too. And uh, that seemed to be the thing with Jazz Baby, was that people cared about that character. They worried about her. Go and read some of those reviews where they were, they were fearful for her safety when she was putting herself in these bad situations and whatnot. But uh, I think that's it, is... Something I could say about my books is that I, I, I write meaningful characters. I write stories that, that will hopefully entertain the reader. So I'll put the, uh, your books are, uh, are in Amazon? Yes, they are. So I'll put uh, uh, your books uh, in my storefront. Uh, okay. And, uh, uh, and I'll put the link in the description of this video. People who watch this video uh, can buy your book. All right, I appreciate that. And uh, yeah, send me a link to this video when you put it on there and I'll share it all across my social media. Yeah, I will share it. So uh, do you, have you seen any previous videos of mine on uh, YouTube? I haven't, I haven't. So I have to, as soon as I get done here talking with you, that's guess where I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to YouTube. I'm sure you will enjoy because uh, 250 people already uh, said about their books and uh, from different countries i'm sure uh, something you will get from it when right. you're free you can watch it yeah okay i yeah as soon as i get done here talking with you i'm going over there to check it out yeah. so so th- thanks beam thanks uh, thanks for giving me your valuable time and uh, 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 telling me about your books and uh, uh, telling uh, answering a few questions of mine well thank you for for the invitation that's an, it's an honor to be able to sit here and talk to you and and you showed interest and I'm, I'm honored. So thank you. Thank you very much for the invitation. So can I put this video on my YouTube channel on social media yes. on internet with your permission? Put it wherever you want. Yeah. So thanks. Thanks again. Keep going. Keep doing what you love and express what you want to.
And you too, keep that, and then may your YouTube channel grow and become this big thing that everybody wants to watch. And uh, you will be one of the reasons for that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks, man. All right. Bye. Bye.